the uh, player was launched, the iPlayer, the BBC iPlayer was launched as a beta uh, on Friday, last Friday, and uh, um, it's being launched to a, a fairly limited audience to, to test out the functionality and some of the different func uh, features that are embedded in the player. We are the underlying delivery technology platform for the player, so the, uh, the BBC is licensing our technology uh, and doing both direct delivered content to users as well as uh, peer assisted delivery as well. So it's a, it's a pretty exciting milestone, we think, for a video uh, over the internet in that it's probably the, the, the largest uh, endorsement of the concept by a major broadcaster worldwide. Over in the UK, there are four major broadcasters, the BBC, Channel 4, Sky, and ITV, and, and three of those four utilize the, uh, the Contiki delivery platform. That market moved very quickly to adopt video uh, on the internet, uh, probably uh, ahead of, of us here in the US. Uh, there are quite a few, you know, several million users over in the U.S. who regularly go to those sites and download content that they watch on their PCs, which in some cases are connected to their to their TV. So it, it is something that's kind of started to, to creep into the mainstream over in the U.K., and I think with the launch of the, of the iPlayer, you'll see even more of that. If somebody's using the Contiki platform, like in a BBC environment, what you're going to see there is a rights-protected piece of content that's been distributed to your PC. They've set the rights around that, and in the BBC's case, they've set uh, so that a user has access to that content for 30 days, and after 30 days it, 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 it's deleted off of the machine. Um, in other cases uh, where we've got a, a content delivery customer of ours who's distributing a download to a customer, they might set up different preferences around, around that content. But it's not designed as a file sharing network, so it isn't a scenario where the consumer is going to download that content through our platform and then somehow publish it back in and distribute it to others outside of the controlled environment that we've set up with, with the peer platform.